six months ago, we bought this church. Eventually, this will be our retail store, wholesale warehouse, and Zeb's workshop in the barn. It's been a long six months. We've done a lot of work already and we still have a long way to go, but we wanna show you, kind of give you an update of where we're at now. We're about one month away from starting to build displays and moving our shop in, and we only have until the end of August to be all the way out of our other space. So it's crunch time and we wanted to give you an update. The demo just basically started with removing what has been added to make this a built-in apartment to reveal what the original chapel was. Lots of time spent pulling out nails and boards and staples, carpet, anything you can imagine. It takes so much more time than you would imagine. Even after the heavy lifting is done, all the detailed demo takes a hot minute. We're removing all the old lath and plaster out of the ceiling. A lot of it's water damage from when the roof had a leak a lot of years ago. It's since been fixed on the roof, but the lath and plaster wasn't fixed. So we're gonna remove it and leave it open so you can see the ceiling and the tall peak on the roof. You got your working pants on. The ceiling's actually kind of amazing. The construction was really advanced and modern for the time. So we want to expose that beautiful architecture. We'll be painting it white and dropping big light fixtures and ceiling fans through it. I'd like to say that after six months of work, it looks a lot better than what we have going on right here but it's a lot the same. We did spend about a month cleaning up the yard and putting a fence around the backyard so that the animals can be safe and just general landscaping and cleanup that needed to happen. One of the things we weren't prepared for was termite damage in the drywall. We had to remove it, $1,200 to treat it, and now we're ready to put all the drywall back. It's just the fun of renovation. After about a month of landscaping, the garden is in, it's growing, all of our starts are doing well. I should have amended the soil a little bit more before we planted, but you know, we can go back, we're gonna have to do some miracle grow or something because it's really not grown much since we planted it in the ground. Today's project is removing all the pine needles. Our friend Mike over at Budget Plumbing was nice enough to lend us this dump truck so we could go grab all the gravel for this driveway. It saved so much time. I was gonna have to take so many runs with a pickup to get this done. In between the rocks, we've got a little extra dirt from our planters. We're gonna put dirt in them and then we're gonna plant um, drought tolerant spreading flowers. So we're gonna put ground cover, maybe some wildflowers in here, just make it look good. It's official, Jack and Redrick are the best ever at spreading rocks. We got them tuned up a little bit and they started actually doing some good work here, but watching them try to figure this out on their own was pretty funny. So a lot of people are gonna ask, how do you get all this demo out of the second floor down skinny stairs? Buckets. So we use these buckets for the, the plaster because plaster is really heavy. And then we put things that aren't as dense in the big a uh, trash can and then we just carry it out, load after load after load.
So I was trying to get these tack strips out. It was really hurting my joints to do it with a hammer and a pry bar. I went online and I found this guy and he said to use a shovel. Pro tip, it works like a charm. All right, so Zeb is the expert drywall guy, right? No, it's my least favorite thing to do. <laughs> Luckily, we're not doing a lot of drywall repair. We just got one more piece to put in here, a little piece to put over here, and then mud and tape. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Dad, I think we're gonna need to get you some new slippers. Huh? I think you, these might not be house slippers anymore. Where are your shoes? What shoe? The shoes you wear. Isn't that supposed to be straight or no? Yeah. My dad is 89 and loves to help. Mudding was the perfect opportunity for him to do something that he wouldn't get cut on and he didn't have to be on a ladder. The outside is about as done as we're gonna get it for now. Like Jamie said, it's gonna be a few years of work to completely fix up the outside and to do all the stuff that needs to be done to the exterior of the church. While it doesn't look like a whole lot has happened inside other than demolition, we are at the rebuild stage. We are not hauling any more out and we're gonna go ahead and start painting and doing a lot of plaster work, fixing floors, running electrical, all that sort of stuff is what's about to take place. And we're pretty excited because once that's done, then we can start building displays and moving in the shop. Add to Zeb's repertoire, tree trimming. We just wanted to give a big shout out and thank you to all the people that watch our videos because none of this would be possible without the views, without the shopping at jamierayvintage.com and all of your support, prayers and love. If you like this video, share it out with your friends and let them know what we're doing here and comment below with any questions you have about this remodel. Now that we've got it to this point, we're gonna hustle up and get this done. So you might get a couple more videos on the church and then we're gonna be moving in. We're gonna be using our own motto, which is done is better than perfect. And for sure the chapel is gonna be like the main focus right now, getting that done. The outside is gonna take a few years. Look, always working. <laughs>